This is the toddler who vanished in the night. According to his mother, three-year-old Mikhail Kular went to his bed but was gone in the morning. They've sealed up the door of the block of flats where he disappeared, apparently with his coat and boots on. It's a heavy door for an adult to open, let alone a three-year-old child. But while examinations continue behind it for clues, a search takes place over a wide surrounding area. Police have been joined by mountain rescue teams. This is an urgent search against the clock. If Mikhail is out there, how long could a three-year-old survive on his own? At the moment, we still have no evidence at all of any criminality. It remains, it remains a missing person inquiry. Our concerns, obviously, with the passing of time. He was last seen at nine o'clock last night and the cold day that we've had. But I would ask people in the locality, please continue searching in your own personal properties. If your neighbours are away, then think about searching their gardens, their shed. There was frantic activity across North Edinburgh as the search took place against a pressure of time. Police showed interest in some properties nearby without any indication they were related to the hunt and still without any sign of Mikhail. Mikhail lives in this neighbourhood with his mother. He and his twin sister are the youngest of five children. The youngster attends the local nursery and is a well-known face in this neighbourhood. Happy wee boy, beautiful wee boy. I mean, he scared my two wee dogs. My daughter will take the papi on a walk and he walks up and he is scared of them, but he's always got the smile on his face. So he's an extremely lovely wee boy, eh? so it's quite a shock to see that he's obviously went missing. Eh? There has been forensic testing inside Mikhail's flat by forensic officers investigating what happened to him. It remains the focus of the search, which is now extended across a wide area. Where could a three-year-old child have gone in the middle of the night and how did he get there? There are many questions in the search for Mikhail Kular. The one driving those looking for him is can he be brought home alive? James Matthews, Sky News, Edinburgh.